Building an app without code may seem like a far-fetched idea. However, Mind Studio has a different approach. Today, we're going to be going through Mind Studio. I'm going to review the software and I'm going to give you all the ups and downs, ins and outs about Mind Studio and if you should be actually spending your time on learning how to use it. Now, before we get started with the video, there is a link in the description to get started with Mind Studio. It is an affiliate link, so if you do click on it, you'll be supporting the channel because we'll be getting a small kickback. So without further ado, let's come straight into it. So jumping straight into what the display looks like, I think that it's relatively easy to sort of understand and start using if you have a bit of a background knowledge of app development. This is kind of like um, an easy way to develop apps without having that extensive knowledge. However, I must just say, and I'm going to be completely honest here, it is for an individual that hasn't got any experience in app development. The language is a little bit difficult to understand if you really have no idea. When they say it's no code app development, it actually, you do need a little bit of knowledge to understand what is actually going on here. So on the left hand side, you'll have your threads, you'll have uh, the option to use this chatbot. This is your default chatbot that has been created. But if you go up to the top left hand side here and you you can now create a chatbot. Now I'm going to just go in here and I'm going to show you my existing chatbot that I have created. And um, I'm doing this because I don't want to create another project because you only get three free projects to create. Now if you've created it and deleted it, that counts as one of your projects. So from the left hand side here, you have your Explorer and this is where you can basically see all of the input of your workflow that you're building. And looking at how it's actually laid out, it looks easy enough to understand. However, when I was going into the actual user input and the generative text, trying to understand how to put these things together, there was no real sort of help when trying to build these things. So I understand that there's a user input. Let's say, for example, I'm the user and I'm typing in a prompt to a chatbot and I'm saying, can you help me learn how to code? And that is the user input. The generated text over here you can see is where you would be seeing the text that the user is generating and how it is actually being produced. The display content will then be, there should only be one in here. The display content is how the user actually sees the content that it is now produced. So the result of the user's input. And th there's a way to configure this. And if you don't have any prior knowledge, then it will be slightly challenging. But it shouldn't be too difficult to learn if you are wanting to develop an app and get into app development without coding. You can learn relatively easily. So as I said, you can use this area over here, you can move these blocks around and there's quite a few options. If you hit the plus icon here, there are um, AI services, there's context and then there's routing, which will allow you to extract or allow you to move around. So there's quite a few different options and you can really get creative when doing this. And it's as simple as, as I said, there is no coding. However, you do, as I mentioned, need to have a bit of an understanding of development and how it works. So you'll need to understand the relationship between all of these blocks and how they affect the following block. Once you are done, you can go and click on publish. Now I have published before and it does look good. However, it is it's very low key and it's very simple. However, it does work at the end of the day. So you can play around with it and you can check out if Mind Studio is actually going to work for you specifically.